All right, so today I'm gonna be replacing my air compressor as it's no longer working. I want to uh, run a hose under here so I can hook up my reel, fill my tires up. I want to mount it right here. And all I have now is a ratchet strap holding it together. So I want to weld on some hooks on each side. So that'll hold it from moving when I'm driving. So let's start ripping this thing apart and getting it out and I'll show you what we can do. So I'm going to swap this out, just got to run this hose over, flip that out, take that off, and put another one here, so I got two, hopefully I got everything I'll need to make it work. Here's your line to the horns, and then this fitting I'm going to swap on as well. So you can tell that doesn't sound very good. This one's going right into the tank. I just pipe that in. This one's going to the air pressure sensor. So we'll see if this thing blows or not, huh? Alright, the compressors were drawing way too much power. So I went ahead and got some 6 gauge wire rather than the 12 I was using. And I also grabbed another tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one compressor run one tank, another one run another one. I'll put a check valve in here so that this will be my main tank that I draw from. I got another switch coming for the horns. So I'm gonna pipe it into here. I picked up another one of these, the pressure switch, the very pressure switch. So I'm gonna run one compressor to a pressure switch to a tank another compressor to another switch to this tank and I'm going to run a five foot hose from the tank that'll be over there to this tank with a check valve so the air will all come here until this is full and then that one will fill or this one all right so I'm just piping it all up and we'll get it all done This is a pressure relief switch. It's going to go on compressor number two. You know, 
something like that. Or even run an impact gun so I can pop the tire off, switch it. I don't like sitting on the side of the road. I want it. So I'm just going to tack it so it's not going to go anywhere. Alright, so we got tank A, tank B. The reason I say that, I'll explain to you. So this is my first pressure switch, which runs compressor 1. Feeds into my pressure switch, which feeds into my tank. Right back there, there's my solenoid for the train horns. Pressure tank, pressure, compressor two. Feeds this pressure switch right here. Which then drops into the tank. And then I have a fill line, which runs from here down under and into tank a so the goal and there's a check valve right up here so the goal is to always keep tank a full and then i'll have tank b as a backup i drilled two holes in my toolbox i'll run my air hose my air intake down for the compressors but i just wanted to show you that now ever since i switched over to the six gauge wire as you can tell these compressors are a lot louder so they're working a lot harder to fill these tanks up. I got both of them running right now. The reason I was able to do that is because these are 40 amp. These are only 25. One through four is 25. And these are 40. So I'm running one compressor to one and another compressor to the other. All right, she's home. I got my airlines through here. I'm gonna probably cut them right here and then I'll just put a self tapper or a bolt and a hanger. All right, so I threw an electrical clamp on each of them. This closes good. All right, so I got all, everything hooked up down below. Runs into my truck. Air filters are right here. And then what I did, I added that. I put this under here. So this can go. I think this is a 20 foot reel. So that'll go all the way to wherever I need it. Thanks for watching.